crowd. <laughs> oh, well, that looks awesome. I might have to head to the bird. Uh, heaps of gigs happening this week. Operator Please are playing at the Astor Theatre next Friday night. What's happening this week? And tomorrow night there's Shapeshifters playing at the Villa, so that should be awesome as well. Awesome. Well, uh, for a, a gig guide and all the extra details, here's Party with Panache. Hello, my sweets. I need not welcome you back to you know what. It's time to party with the Nash. Now, I'm standing outside the Brass Monkey once again. And firstly, let me say, as I like to say, uh, tomorrow night, live on stage at uh, the Ra Rosemount Hotel is Optimus. Now, this is uh, classified as their launch tour and it's stated as from downside. It also has SBX as their special guest. Now also on a bit of a different night out, I've been down as you can see to the Lux. Go down and check out the Lux on uh, Mount Lawley Way and um, they have a beautiful one of my special friends, Feminem as a DJ, absolutely stunning. Go say hey, have a dance, and dance the night away. They do have a rather picky line, so dress up to impress or they'll tell you not tonight and send you on your way. Now, uh, also a different look at things, go down to Sin for a different beast. Uh, now, Sin is fantastic because, oh my, it's very loud in Northbridge, but Sin is fantastic because uh, you've got your goss, your 80s, and your punk music all mixed into one night. So go have an alternate night out. Also quite the same, the Halala Bar is very different. Now, this is in Perth, Victoria Ave, and uh, the atmosphere is fantastic. They've got cocktails and free entry. I like the sound of that. Get down to the Dean for Friday Night Live and uh, all the weeks, all the times, the Dean's putting on spectacular events. So come down, say hello, and we'll see you next time on Party with Panache. Thanks for that, Panache. Okay, now I'm here with Amy Broadfoot, who's the manager of the Future Shorts Short Film Festival. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the festival, what's coming up? So Future Shorts is an international short film label. Uh, it was created by a short filmmaker who was finding it really hard to find an audience for short films because after you do a couple of film festivals there's nothing else really out there for short films and they're really expensive to make so you need to try and make some money off it as well. So he started Future Shorts and it now exists in 20 countries in 60 cities and Perth will be the first Australian city to launch So we're the Australian premiere? Yeah, exactly. That's so really we're doing exciting. it before Melbourne or Sydney. So yeah, it's nice. really We beat cool. Sydney this time, guys. You've got to be pumped. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So you've got the um, opening night at the Fly By Night Yeah, Club. so it's coming yep. up on Saturday the 19th of June. Yep. It's a red carpet launch and we're also having uh, the world premiere of the filmmakers that did This Is Perth. They're also, their latest film is called It's Just Gary and it's the world premiere, plus we'll have local band Brash and Sassy rocking it out cool. for us as well. For those who don't know This Is Perth, it's a really funny YouTube video that pretty much shows the crappiest, <laughs> I guess, tourist attractions through <laughs> Perth. It's really, really funny. So the short film should be really good. Yeah. Um, what other, so there's uh, bands going to be there on the night? So yeah, Brash and Sassy, uh, Red Carpet, uh, lots of VIPs coming along, uh, world premiere, and then an hour of uh, international content and with future shorts. Uh, sometimes they take the winners of like Sundance and Cannes and they put it into their catalogue so we're really seeing the best of the best short films. So it's a really important one for film fans. It's, yeah. it's a big thing that this is happening in Australia. It's been planning for about two years now and the fact that it's finally here, it's something to really celebrate. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Anyway, Everyone so. should be really excited. Cool, so you can get tickets at the Fly By Night Club website yeah. and it's on June 19th so get really excited and we should hope to see tons of people there. Yeah. Cool, so thanks so much for that. And now we're going over to Aaron, who has a really cool car out the front of the Dean. Thanks, Steph, on the couch there. I'm Aaron Pitt, and I'm at the front of the Dean with cool cars, and I've stopped Kate. How are you doing, Kate? Oh, I'm very well, thank you, Aaron. I always say thanks for stopping. I'm glad you saw me. Yes, I did see you, so it's nice of you to invite me. No, that's like, well, you didn't really have a choice. You've got such a fantastic car. Tell us about your Mini Cooper. 
oh well it's a great car Aaron I tried a few different cars out when I was going to buy it and I got this one because it's really good to drive and uh, I uh, would be mistaken if or anyone would be mistaken if they looked at it and thought well it's not really that powerful they are they go like a rocket yeah they're really fast we've taken it down south on a number of occasions and it's really good drive okay. and uh, you have what well, you keep into the speed limits of course oh always within the speed limits Aaron and uh, I love the stripes on it you've got some great stripes there yeah and a few ghost fast stripes and a bit of chrome which is also good a bit of mini with a bit of bling yeah bling mini yeah <laughs> um, so it's got everything on there and you've had it for a couple of years yeah I've had it for a couple of years and I, I like the interior which matches the outside as well so it's all good you've got a color coordinated blinged up little mini Cooper <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks for stopping for us tonight, Kate. Yeah, thank you, Aaron. Have a great night. Now I'm going to go and cross to Jesse and Vetti inside on the couch. Thank you, Aaron. We're just going to have a quick break now, but coming up, I head to the circus. Uh, Tani had a look at a brewery, but taking us into the break, uh, almost Sunday. Here they are.